At the age of 15, I discovered the guitar and it became an obsession. I played guitar, practiced eight hours a day, almost every day. I wanted to be the best guitar player in the world and I kind of used that to isolate from, from everybody. Colin Ayrton was looking for a way out of his home life. His father had abandoned him when he was eight. Then his mother tried to commit suicide. It was my mom and two sisters, so I was the only guy in the house and so I kind of you know, was given the role of the man of the house, which I had no idea what that was. Colin was only at peace when he was playing his guitar. It was his passion and identity. The guitar was definitely my god, and music was my god. I had posters of, you know, rock musicians pasted all over my ceiling. Um, you know, I wanted to be the best guitar player in the world and thought, that's what's going to make me happy. That's what's going to, that's the ultimate goal in life. Colin and some of the area's top local musicians formed a band. They were developing a strong following, complete with groupies, road trips, and the beginnings of the lifestyle that many young rockers dreamed about. I thought I could have whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted it, you know, money, girls, cars, whatever. He immersed himself into the rock music culture, but soon he began to realize the music itself wasn't enough. His need to escape his emptiness took on different outlets. Drinking came first, then marijuana. That led to other drugs, mushrooms, cocaine, and eventually LSD. By all outward appearances, Colin's life and career were on track. Then, one afternoon, Colin took a trip he'll never forget. While he was high on LSD, he had a vision. It was like my soul started being opened up to me, and I started seeing myself for who I really was. And I saw this procession of people going toward this light and I saw myself in a place of darkness and I knew that when I died I was going to be separated from God for all eternity because I didn't have love in my heart. The vision terrified Colin. He began praying every night for protection from this vision of evil that seemed so real and so present. Yet his mind envisioned God as distant. My picture of God was that he was far, 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 far away. Colin met a girl named Lori. When I met Lori, I told her, you'll never be more important than my guitar. They moved in together. Colin thought he had the best of both worlds, a woman who loved him and the lifestyle he wanted. But inside, he was still miserable. He called an old friend. He you know, came over to my house and he told me the gospel and prayed with me and I was filled with the Holy Spirit. And you know, the next day I woke up and everything was different. I mean, the whole, when I walked out my front door, it looked like everything was a different color. Everything was now like clear. And I had this, the burden was just lifted off of me. I just had, felt like I had this weight lifted off me that I didn't even know was there until it was gone. Colin's questions were gone. The fear was gone. God was already at work in Colin's life in more ways than he ever imagined. He no longer wanted the drugs and alcohol. Lori saw the change in Colin and within a week, she became a Christian too. Then. Colin and Lori married. I was very pessimistic about marriage and family just because of what I'd been through. Today, Colin and Lori's kids are blessed to have parents who intimately know the love of God. But God really started showing me, you know, what it meant to be a dad and what it meant to be a husband and just took me really on a journey of love and that love that I was always knowing I needed was now in me and God was showing me how to express it to other people. Colin left his music career and launched a thriving home improvement company. But whether it's being a family man or a businessman, Colin knows the source of all his success. God has a specific miracle for everybody. And no matter what situation anybody's in, you know, God has the answer and he's there with the answer. You just have to trust him and, and, and seek him.